So we're going to walk through paper number two. So you go to assignments and there's the paper one video and here is the paper two video. We'll look at a Word document so we can make some notes here as well. Uh, paper two illustration assignment, the first one, the first paper was a definition. That's the genre definition you defined a friend, a, a specific one friend, and what makes that person a friend. This one is an illustration assignment. There's the due date, uh, formats the same, MLA format, Times New Roman, all that stuff. Here is the grade breakdown, same as the first paper. Thesis statement, intro, 50, you know, organizational body, meal, main idea, evidence analysis, link, lead out, 75, MLA format, and then conclusion. Uh, this paper, it, it's continuing a similar thread. So our first two papers are narrative papers. And you can use, you know, I want you to use I, me, my, and, and then the last two papers, we're going to be incorporating outside information. For this assignment, you will write a three-page illustration. Uh, what an illustration does is take a complicated topic, idea, death thing, and then break it down into um, understandable, an understandable concept. I am asking you to illustrate your philosophy of life. So this is a little different here. So philosophy of life, you see my little footnote there. And if you go down, other terms for your philosophy of life can be code, outlook, way you approach, approach your day-to-day -day life. And, and right now you could be wondering, well, I don't have a philosophy. I don't have a code. Well, we all do. You just might not have written it down in detail. We all have outlooks. We all have codes. We have multiple dozens and dozens of outlooks uh, and we're going to brainstorm some and the way you think about and look at your life for this paper i just want you to choose one not not a grab bag just is just one this broad topic is asking you to choose a way of thinking an abstract concept to develop a thesis and then illustrate your thesis through a number of points that make your philosophy clear to the reader Think about your outlook, philosophy, code, and how it can be illustrated through specific detailed examples. Write about three aspects. These could be the main components of your paper. What is your code, philosophy, way of thinking that both guides and defines you? Uh, so that's the first part, you know, and we're going to make some notes like we did on paper one. And I have another sheet where I have notes on two we'll pull up. How and when did it originate? A lot of us could have a code or an outlook that originated when we were younger. It could be something that uh, originates now, you know, recently in school or in life. Who or what influenced you? Was there, is there a specific person, family member, friend, teacher, coach that influenced you? Or is it just on your own? You developed it through your circumstances. Was it an event? Was it a really positive event? Or was it a negative event? And also, what's important is how has it changed, evolved over time? So you could have a way of thinking, you know, what's, what's a famous, what's a good old famous philosophy? Do unto others as we would like them to do to ourselves, right? We might learn that when we're young, but it changes over time as we get older. A lot of these philosophies and codes, if we have them when we're young, they change over time. Uh, we'll be modeling our papers from examples in the book. Look at these pages that's located in our weekly sessions. Your paper will be set up like this. Start with an introductory paragraph that grabs the reader's attention and mentions the topic area you'll be talking about. Remember, no, don't start with platitudes, uh, banal statements. Everyone has different philosophies, obviously, right? You're jumping right into your specific, this paper is about you. Follow with a number of body paragraphs that illustrate your thesis. Conclusions should reiterate your points. Uh, on the back of the sheet, start to describe your philosophy code. What led you to this way of thinking? What important people, events, situations have helped shape your way of thinking? How has your code philosophy evolved and changed over time? 
are there any specific situations that tested your code? So let's, uh, we'll, we'll start to do some notes here like we did on the other paper. First off, I want to show you a, a sample, a sample paper I have, not paper, but some sample notes that I think might be helpful in brainstorming. So if you go to week two, this is what where we're we're on week, you know, this is week two, we're on it. Uh, philosophy notes. This is from another class. And these are just some students I had who started to brainstorm. Ivan, uh, a great student, always his code you know, he started to brainstorm, always try to remain work toward being altruistic, which is giving back to others. You know, being helpful toward others is his code. And there are, there are just some components you're going to look at, how it started, specific examples, what influenced, how it changed over time. Uh, Olivia's code, try to remain disciplined, was, was one of her initial ones. And then it, it, it evolved into, she started writing about, putting herself, putting oneself in uncomfortable situations, almost like trying new things, right? How, how is that a helpful code? Uh, Nina, always staying true, be true to oneself, be authentic. You know, James, you can take, his was just do it, <laughs> the Nike code, right? What changes, though, from making a code you know, just do it. It's it's like a it's a it's like a slogan, or a catch-all, or it could be kind of a cliche. But what changes? But what changes something that's a cliche is when you specifically define it and illustrate it, right? James was just do it, but he included a bunch of specific examples and details that showcased his code. You know, instead of instead of being indecisive, right? Are any of you indecisive? What happens when you're indecisive? Nothing gets done. Just do it. And, and he included, I think, a specific thing about trying out for a basketball team when he was nervous and something else. Uh, Cole has, has a, you know, we're all just pissing in the Have fun when there's an opportunity. Make the most of the moment. You know, uh, Riley had a had this. Don't take advantage of the little things. Be grateful for the little things. How is that important, right? And and then we looked at find join the little things. I wanted Riley to define it specifically. How did it start? And I remember her talking about this. I think her mom was. You know, I think sometimes when we're younger, we want all the big, you know, the big stuff, the big things. I think her mom was diagnosed with cancer and, and, and she started to realize, oh, it's these little things just hanging out, watching a show together, spending this time together that that really are important more than, you know, the big giant things in life. So, uh, so the cliche, always treat people how you want to be treated. That's good, but you're breaking it down. Tough times don't last. Tough people do. Give specific examples. Uh, take little risks. Have fun. Be spontaneous. So these are just a couple of ideas for your code here. And what I want you to do is, you know, we all have a bunch of different ones, right? We all have a bunch of different codes. Uh, I'll write down a couple of mine. So one of mine is, I think be cool and what I mean by that not like cool like Fonzie from the happy days but for me uh, I never want to get too sad and or too happy it's nice to stay kind of in the middle temper one's emotions with that said you know when something horrible happens we're allowed to be sad similarly when something great happens, we're allowed to be happy, but try and be cool, you know. And I would include, uh, here are some components. What, who influenced it. Early 
example three later example you know and you might even start your paper with a paragraph that specifically defines your code philosophy outlook later example for how it has changed over time conclusion so intro here's your paper right if, if each body paragraph is about a half page intro half page three quarters of a page here's a half page here's a half page here's a half page here's a half page you know this is your paper right that's all you have to do uh, but I'm I'm going I'm jumping ahead of time uh, I'm outlining it so just what you know start to jot down two three four codes outlooks and what is one that is most important and easiest to write about you know a lot of times it's funny how we learn things in life a lot of times we you know we can learn things by positive experience we can develop a code from a negative experience you know has something bad happen bad happen that has taught us something an outlook right think of a bunch of different outlooks so one for me is be cool and it doesn't have to be anything you know the anything um, you know we have big codes and little codes one for me is be cool another one and the whole paper would just be on this one right another one would be uh, I learned this in grad school one must be able to do great work amidst <laughs> chaos you know I think I learned this in grad school because we all think oh we'll get all this work done we'll do all this great stuff when there is no drama there's always going to be drama we're always going to have to be working juggling a bunch of different things so you know one must have to do great work amidst chaos you know how did this develop discipline time management think about this for school it's important to manage one's time one must be able to do great work amidst chaos that's another code of mine another one I would write a whole paper on so each of these you know for this paper again one philosophy one code one outlook this isn't a grab bag I don't want a bunch because I really want you to go in detail about that one another one uh, a code of mine don't needlessly complain do any of you and I, don't, I don't mean to offend anyone if this is you do any of you have friends or family members they're just always just bitching and complaining about every little thing they're like they're like emotional vampires they like suck you dry you know obviously similarly to my first code if something hor bad happens yeah you can complain about it right but just these people who complain about every little thing it's just it, it's it just drains you so for me personally I don't complain about little things right I, I you know don't needlessly complain look at the positive you know be positive it's funny think about cliche and more quote more more slogans or more philosophies be positive it sounds such like a simple philosophy right but and it sounds like a cliche but how can we specify this I think it's really important uh, so those are just a few notes right now just brainstorm you know what are some what are what's two three but then choose one choose one write about it 
do that now. Uh, how old were you when it started? When you developed your code? Who, what was involved? How did you use it in the past? You know, have you, have you used this in the past? Uh, in the present, something recently changed over time. So just start jotting down, you know, fill out these. And, and you can do that whole who, what, when, where, why, how. But this is when you start to pre-write. Again, like we did for the first paper. This is really important. Because this, when you do this pre-writing and make these notes, and then you start to outline your paper, this saves you from down the road, you know, the paper's due at midnight and you're staring at this blank page. What do I write? So start writing about this now. And everyone, I know and when I would do this assignment in class, there would be students, I don't have a philosophy. I don't. We all have multiple. Choose one and talk about it. And if you're really, really stuck on this paper, uh, please email me. We could talk about it more over, over video.